So Carla took over for Linda Ronstadt. Uh, they threw her out on second reviewer's night because uh, Linda got sick and she couldn't go on. So Carla went on and got rave reviews. This is for Pirates of Penzance, right? Say, this is in the Pirates of Penzance on Broadway um, in 1981. And uh, I did the movie The Chosen and I couldn't be, I was asked to do Frederick in the park. And I ended up doing the movie The Chosen. But I came back to New York uh, for a premiere of The Chosen at Radio City Music Hall, and I got a call from Mr. Pat, and he says, he said, come, you know, check this out. And it was remarkable, and Kevin Klein was ridiculous. And, <laughs> and so I went, I, I went in and uh, wanted to work with Kevin and uh, did not know Carla. Carla did not know my work. And... From the moment I walked in the rehearsal room with Carla, I realized I was with one of the most gifted and talented people I had ever even been close to. Her voice is absurd. I mean, she's rock and roll. She's the girl in meatloaf, man. Mm -hmm. But she sings coloratura. I mean, she sings better than any I, I, I've never heard. She, mm -hmm. she, she'll she'll you talk about float she floats and and you hear her voice just just lilting and then bam she belts out a note you don't think she has could no one has this in there and then suddenly she's jumping and off to, i mean it's just remarkable so um I've never seen that kind of talent, never been close to that kind of talent. And this is like true talent. This this isn't like me as a ball player, you know, like working on my sway. I mean, this is like Barry Bonds. This is Mickey <laughs> Mann. This is Willie Mays. This is the greatest. This is Secretariat. Forgive me. That's the that's my new <laughs> Carla's Secretariat. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I'm on stage with her, and I didn't know my blocking because I wasn't put in well, and she just is guiding me through, and there's not an, an ounce of ego, and then she opens her mouth and starts singing, and I have to tell you, those people in the audience, they paid to see that. I got paid <laughs> to listen to this one night, eight shows a week. Wow. And now, in my life, I get to share my life with this woman. I'm telling you, I wish there were eight days a week, man. I got to tell you, that may be the single greatest husband's testimonial for a wife anybody's ever seen. That, was a, that, that night was, was, a, was a metaphor, and it was also like a preview. And you have to recognize oh. in your life when you see a preview of what your life can be, and you saw it and you grabbed oh, for man, it. Oh, man, that's really you reached, touching. You both oh. reached out for that it. That was so touching. Yes, but, but let me explain also something else. There is something missing in me, and... There's like nothing missing in her. Oh. <laughs> but she also compliments me. She fills in the part that's missing. Mm -hmm. And it's it's remarkable. And I know how lucky I am. Um, I just, I write songs about it because I hope people, I hope they can get this too. It's, it's remarkable. 